Welcome top news today. White House senior advisor Jared Kushner listens as President Trump speaks on November. 1. Evan Vucci app through Wednesday, a caveat added because we would like to cover our bases should the list below grow longer shortly after this article is published. The following things have happened to Jared Kushner in the past week. His security clearance was downgraded from interim top secret site to interim secret. As CNN evocatively noted, a White House calligrapher now has higher clearance than President Trump's senior advisor and son-in-law. This news broke Monday. Josh Raffel, a communications staffer close to Kushner and his wife, Ivanka Trump, announced Tuesday that he was leaving the administration. The Post reported Wednesday that U.S. intelligence agents had picked up communications indicating that officials in four countries saw Kushner as a target for manipulation thanks to his financial troubles and naivete. The New York Times reported Wednesday evening that Kushner's private businesses had received substantial loans from financial institutions after executives from those firms had met with him in the White House. It's a list that, for most White House staffers, would almost certainly mean an imminent departure. Kushner, of course, is not most White House staffers, thanks to his familial relationship with the president. But it was enough that even the Trump-friendly and Rupert Murdoch and Wall Street Journal hinted Thursday morning that it might be time for Kushner and Ivanka Trump to hit the bricks. On another Murdoch media property, though, the word for Kushner was less bleak. According to a database of cable news captions collected at the Internet Archive's TV News Archive, Kushner's name was raised a grand total of ten times this week in Fox News as primetime programming. By contrast, he was mentioned 213 times on MSNBC between 7 p.m. and 11 p.m. and 154 times on CNN. What was Fox News saying about Kushner? Here are all six mentions from Wednesday night. On The Story with Martha McCallum, correspondent Ed Henry noted that Hope Hicks's departure as White House communications director comes amid indications Chief of Staff John Kelly may also be trying to ease out senior advisor and presidential son-in-law Jared Kushner. A bit later, Henry added that Hicks's departure came shortly after that of Raffle, who had worked with Kushner. On Tucker Carlson tonight. Henry repeated that Hicks's resignation came in the context of Kelly trying to ease out. Kushner, which was part of the real story behind the scenes, which was that Kelly trying to consolidate power. On Hannity, Henry said the same thing. On the Ingraham angle, host Laura Ingraham noted that Hicks was the only person who had been with Trump for as long as Kushner and Ivanka Trump. At the end of her show, Kushner earned a quick mention in a tease for the program to follow. And that was it.